What's up, everybody? Good morning. It is week five, day two, cross training day. I haven't typically posted much about my cross training in between. I've just focused on sharing with you the days that I actually train for the 5K. But I want to show you what I got from, I think, Home Goods. I'm a little sucker for like the fitness toys. So this particular game, if you will, is called Hit Workout Dice. And basically, all you do, it was $4.99, $4.99. So I was like, ah, why not, right? So basically, what you do is you roll the dice, and then it tells you what your workout routine should be. There's a little instruction booklet. So for example, this die says 20 seconds, 60 seconds. So this is a time die. This is a rep die. This is the actual exercise die. So burpees, high knees, sprint in place, star jump. Can you see that? Yeah. And then this one is another one. Crunches, squats, and all that jazz. So basically, if I am feeling like, oh, I don't know what to do today, let's roll the die. Then that's what we will do. So basically, you roll, I believe, all four dice. And you basically get get started. So I've already done part of my cross training today. I did about 52 minutes of yoga, which was really good. I was really tight. Let me tell y'all, do not skip out on stretching. It is paramount. I don't care what type of training you are doing, you must stretch every day. And if you're not training at all, you must stretch every day. Let me tell you, last week I kind of skipped a little bit on my stretching and then just did the running and everything. But today, let me tell you, my hips, <laughs> they were so tight. And certain things that I'm normally able to do without any challenge, like the molasses and a squat, yeah, it was very tough today. So I was like, yeah, you cannot do this again. So, like, basically, if I roll the die, I'll have two exercises, and I'll do it at whatever rep comes up for whatever time. So, I'm going to just, like, roll it in the box so you can see it, and, like, <laughs> bad idea. Okay, okay, okay. So, however they fall is what I'll read off to you. So, this one says 40 seconds. Okay, the little ink is off. Okay. 30 reps. What the what? Squats, so that might work today because I have five days le left of my booty lifting challenge and sprinting plates, which I can do. So if you've ever taken a Zumba class with me, y'all know we did some sprinting in place, okay? All right, so we got squats, we got sprint in place, 30 reps, that's a little insane <laughs> for 40 seconds. So what I might do is just split this up and do uh, three reps to 10 to get the 30 in so you know have fun with it don't kill yourself but it's just a great way to add some variety and flair to your fitness there was another package of fitness dice available it had just as much or maybe even a little bit less uh workouts and stuff like that but they were very similar it was like two or three dollars more I went with the cheaper version because it's going to accomplish the same goal. And plus, I don't necessarily always need something like this to motivate me. But I thought this is just something fun to do at home, especially as the temperature cools off and you may not be interested in going outside. <laughs> I love warm weather. So me being outside when it's really cold is usually not going to happen. But I uh, typically I'll just do a lot of indoor walking, indoor aerobics. I have a step, so I'll do some steps, some dance throughout the winter months when I don't feel like going to the fitness center because it's just too cold to be outside. And I don't like coming back wet and cold. So yes, I love warm weather. And this is what I do during the winter months. I still get my cardio in, my strength training in. I've got my weights and stuff around and my, my mat and everything like that. So anyway... Y'all, week five, day two, I'm having a great morning already. And, you know, I really want more of you to sign up for my virtual team. You do not have to live in Atlanta, Georgia. You can live anywhere in the world. You can run at any point. If you just sign up, all the instructions are there to submit your time, get your collateral. You know, just be on the team 
Thank you for your moral support. Thank you so much. <laughs> but I'm grateful for those who have signed up. I do have a special gift for you. I look forward to meeting all of you next Saturday, October the 14th, between 3.30 and 6, I'll say, a.m. because the race starts at 6.30. So make sure that you are properly fueled before the race next week. A banana would be a really good idea. Uh, I wouldn't overdo it, but you should probably be done eating by about four o'clock if you want to be properly fueled for a 6.30 a.m. start. I encourage whole plant foods and good hydration. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. So Friday, you should not be doing anything uh, more than stretching and, and yoga just to you know keep warmth in your body and make sure you're ready to go that early on Saturday morning because we need to begin check-in at 3.30 a.m. at the airport. So... <laughs> I want you to come run with me on the runway for the annual Atlanta Mayor's 5K race. I'm so excited. This is something I've always wanted to do. But as life would have it, uh, several car accidents later, Atlanta driving is crazy, y'all. Uh, people don't know how to put their brakes on. Anyway, um, come support me. And if you can't make it, if you're not in a position to support the race, that's okay. You can go, still go to my website, sign up for Team IE Merp Plans, being the first to know when podcast drops, video drops, everything like that. And we did take a break from podcasts. Don't worry, we have some coming out. I decided I'm going to go ahead and drop them after this race is over. I want to keep everybody focused on the race so you don't have any competing priorities. But that podcast will drop in a couple of weeks right after this race is over. And we have some great things lined up for you for the rest of the year. I'm so excited. So... I've spoken long enough. It's time to get back to cross training day. But first, I have some ginger tea back here. Boily, I'm going to enjoy that over just some light reading and devotions. And then I'll get back into my cross training before I really actually kick off my day of uh, commitments, if you will. I am the plant based nutritionista here to inspire you to take your health back one meal at a time by eating more plants. And of course, moving your body. And remember the importance of that gut health, right? Our intestines are the organ of our immune system, if you didn't know that. Gut health <laughs> plus your physical movement really does equal your mental health. And we're going to go more into that uh, next year. But I just want to really start pushing that message out. It's the fall. Don't stop moving. Some of you actually love this crisp weather. Get out there. Get moving. Just get started. Start walking, start stretching. If no one goes with you, baby, go with yourself, okay? Put this video on and know that I'm right there with you, cheering you on because you got this. All right, crush your excuses, as my sister says. And as I say, eat more plants. That's how we take our health back. One meal at a time. Sign up today.